I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened there, Adam. I mean, for real, that is- I know what happened. What happened? You happened. Oh boy, that's really- You moved the fucking bus. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what to I tell you're you. Going in the other game. What is wrong with you? I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna learn this game right now. No, you know you're right. I don't want to play this right now. I'm gonna play Regency Solitaire because it's just solitaire, okay? Just oh solitaire. That's all it is. I'm gonna play 30 minutes of solitaire. <laughs> I can't believe that game. We abandoned our children. You were about to move out. Thank God you were second. Adam is so cute. Was he in distress? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Y'all, can we all agree that that was a frustrating situation? I mean, also, scorpions shouldn't be able to up and move their habitat when they want to, okay? I moved one rock. Why would you move it? It was perfect. It was working. Because you were I saying, you, you kept solution. saying. I gave you a solution. Abby Day -Y, happy you birthday. chose not to. Happy birthday to Abby Day I So. Abby Day I'm so sorry. This is what we're doing on your birthday, okay? But you know what? This is Adam's fault. What? You kept saying, you have so much shit everywhere, quote unquote. And then I was like, well, let me move it to the edges of their habitat so they can move around for some reason. I, okay, okay, okay. While yes, that may be true. Uh, uh? You were distorting the order in which it was said because I had been saying that day. I didn't say it once you had resolved the enclosure. I just deleted the game. <laughs> <laughs> you will never see that game again. I Not said on this it. stream. I was giving you reasons and explanations for everything, and you chose not to listen. No, I said it was said perfect. It was Leave perfect, it. and then you were like, and because I can't get home, and then we're trapped. And I was like, well, let me move some stuff, but we have to have four, it's like a freaking layer cake of beetles, said, being happy with dragonflies, being happy with your boas, being happy with stupid, stupid fennec foxes. You needed to build a new enclosure. I swear I said that. That's what I was going to do. I just was trying to get them not to be trapped and moving one thing led those, I mean, I thought the goldfish were a-holes. The scorpions are the worst. They, they, I don't, no other animal was just moving their habitat, like just leaving. It's because that habitat had herpes. <laughs> Did for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Listen, I, that's a good game, but I will never play it again. <laughs> <laughs> the goddess you have created had no such horrible breathtaking, Mrs. Smith. Thank you for your loud and sing. Oh, it's my honor. I mean, we are honored. A holiday of fine standing such as yourself, I never hope. Not only, Mrs. Smith, I'm making some garden improvements and more worthy to suggest that we call in. What is that structure over yonder? It's a new fashion inspired by Oriental gardens. Mr. Smith calls it pagoda. He was terribly impatient to install it. Oh, my daughter's man introduced constant to the image. They both have significant dowries and are wanted by husband. Wow, that's a nice way to just introduce your ladies. Gracious, Mama, you mustn't be so forward. Lady Worthy, can Mr. Mr. Horatio with you today? We've uh, 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 read all about it. Ask Alice. I'm so sorry. Shut up! It is just myself and my husband visiting this time. My husband, bitch, is back off. I'm enchanted to meet both of you. Well, it's most obliging of you to say so, Lady Worthy. Then they said take a, f f a further turn around the gardens. There's so much to see. All right, plays Regency Solitaire. I'll change it. Did you just leave, Adam? I'm so sorry. No, I'm here. I'm just doing I'm, a breathing I, exercise. I feel very, very frustrated, okay? <laughs> I am just as frustrated. That shouldn't happen, okay? It shouldn't have happened under any circumstance. I do not feel like a professional gamer. Okay. You know what it's like for me, though? I need you to understand. <laughs> so imagine 
like, do you imagine playing that stupid fucking game Operation, right? Uh huh. Where you have to like reach into the thing yes. and pull out the thing, and it has to be like, yes. you have to be so careful or else you get zapped, right? Or whatever. Now, imagine playing that game, mm -hmm. but you add the latency of the internet. Oh, yeah. And someone else is just doing it, but following your directions, but also not listening to what you're saying. Well, also, we were on but, delay as well. <laughs> but every time they fuck it up, you get zapped. <laughs> well, I mean, you were your baby was on the line, okay? <laughs> and they're going to die together in that game. I, it, I mean, I uninstalled the game. The, the game is gone for my computer. <laughs> it will never be opened again. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I mean, I've never been so upset. I mean, I have yeah, probably. Have. Yeah, I have, but Pico, it was I can almost think of Pico a Park very level. Very specific time. You've been just as upset. Pico Park level rage. <laughs> That's okay. What I was thinking about. <laughs> Remember Pico Park? Oh my God! Yeah. I don't think I've hated gaming more. I'm surprised I ever came back. Pico Park level. Oh yeah. man. Removed. I mean, that's pretty legendary to have achieved Pico Park. Status. I know. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really bad. Let's see. Remove a targetable playable card. How is this solitaire? It's not really solitaire. It's solitaire. It was very fun, Sushi. I recommend playing it. And if you played it with any sort of skill, like, Adam, are you excited to go back to your habitat? Or are you gonna- Well, I'm never fucking playing it again. I'll have, I have like PTSD now. <laughs> yeah, I'm never fucking playing it. I wasted 30 bucks because I can't play it again because I'm going to play it. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> I like open it up and I'll immediately be in a cold sweat. I mean, it's not that stressful, Sushi. It's just the way that we were playing it was very stressful and, and not ideal, okay? Right? Not ideal. Not ideal. Thank you, SoftX, for building yeah. a nice habitat for me. What's in my habitat? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, talk to me about the kind of animals you got. You didn't get as far as me, okay? So, like, talk to me about... No. Don't. No. Don't. No. You know what? Here, I know what's going to go. Okay, there's two things I took pictures of this weekend that you need to see okay. and I'm gonna share them with you. Were they, were they possibly cats or dogs? <clears throat> Better. They were like wild animals. What? So okay. look at, look at the one I just sent you. Uh-huh. Did you send, tell did me you, how much you text it. it to me? Yeah, uh, yeah. Or Discord. Okay, I'm looking. Um, also, I never removed the poisonous plants, so constantly that group that we perfectly built for a crocodile who never showed up. Oh, those are beautiful animals. He just sent me a picture of two beautiful does. For fawns. Okay, they're fawns now, with little, they're little one more picture. And he just sent me a picture of elk scat and a moose jaw. All right, where were you? Is that your relative's house? What's going on there? <laughs> no, that was like some weird visitor thing I stopped at. They had bear scat. Mm -hmm. Moose scat, elk scat, owl pellets. Uh -huh. You can see what all their poo looked like. That's nice. And I know you love poo. I do like poo. And elk poo seemed a little bit more compact than what I thought. Yeah. Just weird little pellets. Just weird little pellets. Just like you. You're a weird little pellet. Thank you. Oh, why did I do that? Idiot. I also went past some lake that's like so high and alkaline that like you could walk on it. Really? Yeah, it's like super freaky looking. It's like, I think it's called the Spotted Lake or something. Mm -hmm. And I bet it's very poisonous. <laughs> Why didn't you get in there? Uh, it's on an Indian reserve and you aren't allowed to go oh. onto the land. It's like protected land, oh, but I took cool. a picture of it from afar. And where are you again? Somewhere in Canada? This, yeah, this was a place called Grand Forks. It's like, uh, uh, kind of almost to Alberta from BC, is uh, that like far? the next province, the next province. I over. had to go yeah. to Toronto. I mean, is it's that like close a to you? Hour. Is, is, is Toronto close to you? Yeah. It's right down the street, uh, about three day drive. Three day. Oh, okay. Cause I'm going to be there next weekend. <laughs> I honestly, aware. you're 
literally the other side of Canada. I actually was doing Supernatural and I, I did Fan Expo like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I got on the plane thinking it was gonna be an hour and a half. Cause I thought, I had no idea how big Canada was. And when they were like, it's five and a half hours, I was literally started crying. Cause I'm like, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it's even bigger than US, right? So yeah. it's, uh, and nobody lives anywhere but those places. Between any of that, right? Yeah. Yeah, everyone in Canada lives you know, 50 to 100 miles from the U.S. border. Yeah. Uh, and in like six major cities. Um. But there's lots of cool places in between. You just don't want to live there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Actually, I like Calgary because... a lot. I've been to Calgary People... several times. Yeah, I really Calgary's enjoyed cool. It. I mean, Calgary's big. It's a big city, yeah. For Canada. Mm hmm That's a big city. That's a nice size, and everyone was really lovely. Thank you, Delacians. I'm not been... Delacistan, thank you for this resub. Thank you, Rex Flip Flip Flip. Thank you, Softex. I'm so sorry I've been really ignoring everybody because that was Alex. Thank you so much for the resub. Lasno, thank you for giving out a community sub. That was two hours ago. Unacknowledged. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ugh. Adam, why? Why did that happen to us? <laughs> also, I see people say talking about how big Canada is. Like, yes, Canada is bigger than the U.S. So think about it this way. Canada is bigger than the U.S. and has less people living in it than Southern California. That's why everyone's really nice. It's like, oh. <laughs> because we've never met other people. Yeah, you never met other people. <laughs> yeah, we encounter other people <laughs> once every few weeks. I mean, and Vancouver's all, a big city. Toronto's a big city, but not like. Vancouver is not a big city. Like, like relatively, like, nothing's big. I went to Austin, I was like, this is such a tiny town. And there was a, a lovely girl there who was from an 1100 person city in West Texas. And she's like, this is huge. I'm like, I'm from LA. This seems really tiny to me. Vancouver's population is 675,000. Is that only, is that all? <laughs> That's wild to me, for real? What is Los Angeles's population? Oh, it's like 4 11 million. million. <laughs> 4 million, it's a lot. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, Vancouver's also like geographically small as hell too. Like you could drop Vancouver in the middle of Los Angeles and struggle to find it. Yeah, no, you're right. It's just that one small area. It's it's pretty wild. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was a nice. This is very soothing, you guys. This is what we needed. 4 million with 8.5 in the metro area. And that doesn't even count Orange County because it's just a continuous city. It is a continuous city, you guys. Oh yeah, like the Los Angeles area, whatever that's called, like yeah. the, the greater area. Oh, forget it, yeah. With all those other cities. Yeah, it's crazy how many people live there. That's why whenever I go anywhere but Paris, the only cities that I've been like, wow, these are really big was Paris and London because I tend to travel those more on foot. But even driving in London, I'm like, oh my gosh, we are going. Oh, Can yeah. we add a jerboa and a poison plant to this too and see how it goes? God damn you. No, DK. Also, hi, Lee. I mean, in the time, in the time that I drove around for like five to six hours, That's a long you, in, in London, you would have, like, in, in Europe, you would have gone through like seven countries. Yeah, you're right. Seven, you're, right. Countries. you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> It's just so funny how much people will drive a long distance here. And there's just fuck all. I went through that shitty town, Headley, where the band Headley was from. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's as shitty as I thought it was and explains why that guy turned out to be such a piece of shit. I've not been in a street fight. Thanks, Chadwick. Uh, Haley, Def Amanda's here. I love Canada and I'm excited to go to Toronto. It's a really good time of year, I guess. Sometimes it gets really hot there, but I was there for three weeks in July last year doing Ugly Chickens, the short that is now playing some festivals. And I just loved it. And people are like, cause it's not cold yet. I was like, I can live here. Yeah. And they're like, wait until it's cold. Cause it gets cold. Oh yeah. 
it's a different place come February and March. Well, I did that red werewolf hunter, and I shot there at the end of February, March, and I have never been uh -huh. more upset in my life. I had four <laughs> pairs of pantyhose on under my jeans, and I could barely move, but I was so cold, there was no choice. And that's like a pretty, like, that's a place people chose to settle. I don't know, man. Like, like we don't get like that over here, where it's like, you know, <laughs> six feet of snow. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not going to happen. Oh, I'm screwed which, here. Which is nice. That's why people are like, that's why it's so bloody expensive here, I bet. Yeah. But it's also like pretty humid out Toronto side. Yeah, I think so. So like the hot weather is Yeah, I mean it was really hot brutal. one day I was there and they were like this is just the start of it, okay? Um can I get Yeah, we get a lot of forest fires similar to uh regions of California. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But but that most of that's like <clears throat> north and east. Like further out towards the mountains and the Kootenays and whatnot. Well this is not Shuffle this. A right. place I went to got hit really bad this year by forest fires. A place called Jasper, mm -hmm. which is like outside of, uh, it's like one of the national parks, Jasper and Banff. Banff um, is so pretty. I went in the summer one time and I've always wanted yes. to go. Oh God. If you ever, if you go to Banff again, make sure you drive north to Jasper too. Okay. Because Jasper is stunning. And like a whole bunch of it got hit by forest oh. fires. I remember in Jasper, I went on one of those like things that goes, it, it's like a rail car or something mm -hmm. that it like hangs from wires. What are those called? And it like goes all yeah, the way to the Yeah, a funicular or whatever, or like a, yeah, I get you. There's oh. one in Palm Springs, it's pretty cool. This was like only like five or so years ago and I cried. I was so scared. It scared me so much. I hated it. Wow. But then once I was up top, it was okay. But like, I, it was, I was like panicking. It's so high. I don't, there's nothing about any height that I want to experience. There's nothing about an aggressive, yeah. like, I don't see the appeal. I actually have such bad... I got agoraphobia after I did a trapeze segment for the flog and I had a panic attack while I was being mm -hmm. pushed off. And I never, like for a year after that, I could, I was literally, I, I would almost have to pull the car over when I w drove over a bridge. It was such a bad, mm -hmm. it, it got better, but it was like two or three years of just like, you can't yeah, be that stressed out unpleasant. and then do something traumatic. It's just not, no bueno. I tell you though, when I got to the top of the thing, there was a bunch of ground squirrels and they were all just like chilling. Were they happy to so see you? Was... <laughs> yeah, they were, they're stoked to see people. They don't care. You can feed them like right from your hand. Hmm. So that made it better. Yeah, that's cute. For cuties. Plus it was beautiful, like standing at the peak of that mountain and just like seeing the whole valley. And that's Jackson yeah. Hole or Jacksonville or what? Uh, Jasper. Oh, okay, whatever. Let's see. <laughs> Did I reach out to Red Weird for closed captioning? No, definitely. I'm so sorry. I need to put, I'm going to make a note on my phone because unless it's with on my phone, I'm not going to do it. What's, what's your issue? Um, Def Amanda said that there's a new captioning company that's very good that some streamers are using and I need to look into it. Oh, okay. Red. Well, let me know if you need a hand with Thank that. Thank you. Put it in my... I'm sure it's simple implementation. Yeah. If I do it. If you do it, I mean. <laughs> what? Uh, have you done any new 3D printing since your armor? You know, I still have the arm. I've got to get this done. I've got to just put it together. I put everything in a pile, and it's like the first thing I see when I walk in my office. It's just I've been traveling, and my kid again. She's off, sweet, she's off school this week and I go to Toronto on Thursday. So it's like a week that I have no time to do anything. And you know, it's great. I feel good about Are all... you gonna 3D print me a cod piece like I asked? Um, I, I The printer's not big enough, I told you. <laughs> um, Rachel, thank you so much. I was thinking about playing a bard for uh, Daggerheart. I was thinking about it. So I guess we'll see. 
I've never played a bard before, but I, I always like doing a different character and playing a thief in one. And, you know, I might. What's Daggerheart? I guess it's Critical Role's new system. I guess they're sponsoring a charity stream that I'm doing at QuestCon in Orlando. So I have to oh, go to the character creator. After this, I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing, creating that character. Okay, let's see. I feel so calm right now. This is the game for it, okay? This is the post Portacolor game that we need. God, I, but all I can think of are babies. Our babies, Adam. Yeah, but as long as you never boot the game up again, they will survive. <laughs> In our hearts. <laughs> like, that's what's happening by Animal Crossing Town right oh, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, those little years. assholes. <laughs> Nothing worse than those people. <laughs> I have a stupid gorilla in my Animal Crossing town yeah. and it was kind of what drove me to quitting because I hated her so much and I used to hit her with a net I all the time at Gary's Island. I remember she's terrible. Yeah, and then she, I I like constantly abused her with a net, just like smacking her with a net at Gary's house. I've chased her and then she moved from his island to mine. Oh no, what? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure I have an animal named Ballsack that came from I Justine's island. Ballsack? I was like, this place has really gone really <laughs> shit. I hate, I don't like, I think the only guy, okay, I really, I built special environments for all my people. Like one of them was a mm -hmm. squirrel with just like a trashy attitude. So I just made him a dump. And so I really got into like building custom environments for the jerks. And I have to say my island was very beautiful. Um, but then I never, ever want to see it again. Ever. And Clippy was not Didn't into it. Didn't you have some, like, perverted horn dog fetish for, uh, the, the guy that No, the I never thought that guy was hot. I never thought that guy was you hot. You love the guy that ran the museum. Oh, the owl? That's not me. That's somebody else. No, it is you. Because I specifically remember the first time I ever met you, you wouldn't shut up about how much you loved his little vest and you were super obsessed with the little owl man. All right, fine. I would date him if it were the, if if I had to date somebody in Animal Crossing, it would 100% be him because he's the only one with a job. The rest of the people do nothing. They're just skipping around. I don't <laughs> respect somebody who's like, I'm going to go get a butterfly. Get to work. Oh man. Fuck that game. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Six. Five. You know, I hate that game so much, and I bet you if they make a new one, I'll probably play it, because I'm such of an idiot. You. I mean, 100% I'm going to play it, because all my friends will play it's it. Like, it's like playing a game like Stardew, but they put, like, these really annoying restrictions on everything, where you can only do so much a day, and yep. it's like, no, let me get it out of my system. No, no, they, I, it's everything about it is infuriating. Yeah, but then we play each one. Yep, of course I'll play it. It's not <laughs> it's even talking so about it. We don't even talk about it. It's going to happen. Why are we like that? Because we're weak people who are... <laughs> we're weak people who are frittering our lives away. And when we're on our deathbed, we'll never think about those moments. But Is there we're nothing better to do in nothing life? Nothing better to do with the limited time we have in existence. <laughs> yeah. A stoic it. philosopher would spit on us right now if they saw what I'm doing with my life. Sitting here. Is the stoic philosopher philosopher hot though? No. They, they didn't, oh, even, they didn't yeah, bathe I'm... back then. They scraped themselves with <laughs> olive oil. It's disgusting. Sorry, Today's William. Today's philosophers aren't much better. To be honest. No, they aren't. Oops, you know what? I'm gonna get this guy. Five. Mm. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Boom. Boom. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. Prune it. This is a very I just. Know. I have no idea what you're doing. Here. I'm just literally counting cards. I'm not even doing it well. I mean, I've gotten three stars every time, but. Um, is there anything I can do here? I'm just literally, you just count cards up or down. It's That's it, but it's so peaceful. We have dignity. <laughs> Your babies aren't dying. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? <laughs> because you 
fucking move shit, Felicia. That's why. You said they can't get no. around. Yes, I said that before you had fixed it. Uh-huh. And then you fixed it and you were like, hey, everything's working. Why don't I just fucking knock it? Oh my gosh. And then you we're having some oh, no. everything. We're having a flashback. We're having a flashback. <laughs> Soft text is like, don't go backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up at night dreaming of that and just. I mean, like, it's it was a horrible gaming. That was like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I, this is bad. Okay, nine, nine, okay. You're making Felicia peek her mic again. Oh no. It's okay, guys. That is we not can. Not my fault. Rachel's like, we can recover from the plant game. <laughs> Trauma lives in your body. Don't put it. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for talking us down. Did I miss anything? <laughs> Let's make it very clear, though, in case this ever comes across, uh, you know, the feed of, say, someone who worked on Horticolor. That game is fucking awesome. Oh, it's a great game. And y'all should play it. Yes. Just don't ever play it with me or Felicia. <laughs> yeah. Don't try to protect your babies. I, I mean, there's no other situation where I would have cared. It's just the and Fennec Fox. And if you Fox. so much as bring the game up to me. Yeah, ever. <laughs> ever again. Ever again. I will ban you. <laughs> if you, are you not going to stream it tomorrow? Talk to me. You're not going to stream it? No. <laughs> Never. Hey, what's this button? that's now on your screen for me. It says knock. I don't know what that is. What is it? Knock. Start streaming together? What the fuck? What is that? There's a new button. Aw, Lee. What is it? For Felicia what does it Day. do? It makes it so I can just like join your stream. What? Yeah, you must have like, I must be approved to join your stream or something. Oh, probably because I'm like a mod or something. I don't understand that. Is it a new feature? I, I said yes to something I didn't read, as usual. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? Good. Yeah, I'm sure no bad will come from that. <laughs> as you're like having like a super serious like book stream or something, and then I'll just hey, barge in on your stream and be like, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Oh boy. Yeah, that'll be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to ruining something of yours. Oh, that'd be nice. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> boo, boo! What? I just don't even understand what you're I'm doing. I'm just playing cards, all right? It's a very zen game. Nobody cares anymore. I won't be able to stream anymore this week, you guys. But next week, I'll be back on my regular. And I'm going to play Fortnite with... Jeff at some point next week. Also, Adam, what game are we playing with um, Ryko? Let's plan to do that next Monday. What is it going to be? Wait, what are you talking about? As though, like, this was... What game are we playing with Ryko? Is he coming to play something for once? Well, he wants to know. Oh, wait, it is. Knock, knock. Streamers can now collaborate with other Twitch streamers who are live without any advanced setup or planning. Look for the collaboration icon to find a streamer in your network who is opening to collaborating with you and click knock to get started. What does that mean? Uh, Where do I fool. see that? That means you're open to collaborating with me, which means wait, I can collaborate anytime. But I don't. Why is James Carville? Please unsubscribe. Tim Kaine, stop it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm happy for you, but okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what happened. You clicked an X link. Yeah, I did. I shouldn't have done that. Um. Okay. Wait. Oh hey, the How? that's Ash said hi. Who's in the uh, example? Oh, that's cool. But Ash is great. Um, I love your pixie cut. Oh, thank you, Prina. You know, I might go back to it if I don't work for another six months like this year. <clears throat> Why not? Oh yeah, I saw that picture you posted. It's a great look. I know. I hosted the like the dice awards with that hair, and I really loved it. I was oh, like, nice. God, I look good. You know what? There's like a really weird cultural thing about women with short hair. It's really true. I've, I've never understood it because I've always thought women with short hair are like hotter. I, you it's know, like Angelina Jolie. Yeah. When she had her pixie cut, like 
I know. One of the fucking most attractive people that ever lived. I just, I think that there's a, a male prejudice against it. But at, at the same time, my kid got a pixie cut and she constantly was mistaken for a boy, even though she's got earrings and wears girl color. You know, she was like, why is everybody calling me dude and little guy? She was so angry about it. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I'm sure that pissed her off. It did piss her off. She's growing it up to a bob now. It's very cute. I mean, it's also just because, like, I, I remember, like, a, a past partner of mine had a pixie cut. And <laughs> just when, like, we met well, with, like, my family, uh, just, like, some of the boobs were just like, oh, my goodness, why would you cut off all your hair? They literally like, said that? fuck up. Oh, wow. Why would you ask someone Why would you like say this? anything about a, a person's hair? Don't do it. Unless the only thing you could say about someone's hair is, like, oh, wow, your hair looks great. Yeah, that's all you should say. Innocuous compliments. Three, two, ace, two. You've never played solitaire? I'm, now I'm just- I've played solitaire. I just, the, uh, I'm struggling to follow how you're, how this is working. It's just literally, I am counting up or down from the card that's exposed. I have some powers over here that I've earned and they have a loose oh, it story. it goes both ways. Yeah. Oh. My daughter just shaved her head and she looks amazing. Somebody with a good skull is like, I think that's one of the hottest looks. In Aliens- Oh my God, I was seeing a girl that had a shaved head. It was- And she looked amazing. Yeah, I just, I love the Alien movie. There was that one actor who was great, who had a shaved head. Uh, are you talking about Sigourney Weaver? No, it was the new one. The new oh, the Alien. newest one? It's really good. You saw it? I actually went out and saw it. Oh my God, I want to see it so bad. It's very is it, good. Uh, is it the woman that's in Devs? I don't know, but it was good. And Civil War? I don't know, it was good. Oh my God, I can't wait. It was a really movie. fun, it was just fun. It was like, oh, this is what movies are about. Yeah, that movie looks fucking awesome. It also looks scary as fuck. It was, I mean, it wasn't that scary. I don't know. I just think the aliens are Yeah, they freaky. are scary. I mean, oh, well, it, it's just bait. When they're in all the early forms, the tinier, the yeah. creepier. I don't know. <laughs> Except for in Prometheus, where it's like the giant blue men that were horrifying yeah, too. Yeah, I know. Prometheus was a little bit of a snoozer, but it was fine. I loved it. Oh, I forgot we had an argument of this. It's Michael I mean, Fassbender's head. It's too heavy for me. It's just too much. <laughs> His skull looks too heavy. I don't understand how he's like I love Fastbender. He's amazing. But I don't understand how his, he can hold his head up with that big a skull. <laughs> Him and his wife are going to have the most beautiful children. Yeah. Or the ugliest. No, they're very... We're, uh, that was such a good movie they were into together. Oh my God, that was a tough watch. Yeah. One is it lighthouse or something? They were like at a lighthouse. No, th that was the one where she was a robot, right? Oh, ex machina. Wasn't that they were in that together, right? No, he wasn't in that. Oh, he was in it. Was that was it? Oscar Isaac. Oh, damn it. And the Harry Potter guy. Whoops. Okay, sorry. Um, no, they were in a Oscar movie Isaac's. Together. I have no problem with his skull. Okay, what were they in together? Yeah, great skull. Thank great you, skull. Aim. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, also, he was in a great movie called Shame that I absolutely I mean, loved. he's incredible. Such a good actor. I just, I don't know what it is about the way he looks. I'm always just concerned about his Alicia skull. Alicia Vikander, Michael Fassbender movie. What was it? It is... The Light Between Oceans. Hmm. Was that a book? That was a Tom is a World War I veteran who maintains a lighthouse off the shore of Australia with his wife, Isabel, a woman desperate to have a baby. Ooh. Have a baby. Her prayers are answered when an infant washes up on the shore in a rowboat. Oh, that sounds mysterious. Mm hmm. Almost certainly based off a book. Yeah, it sounds very booky. Sounds like somebody oh, yeah, wanted Rachel, an Oscar. Rachel Wise is in that. Oh, my too. God. Rachel Wise is my favorite actor, one of them. Yeah, she's a goddess. She's so amazing. I mean, this is just soothing, all right? I'm glad all of you are here. 
Um, if anybody's new, we had an incident earlier during the stream that caused me to play <laughs> the most calm game I could find because I started the stream. I started the stream ejecting some babies, and we ended the stream ejecting some babies. So it was uh, a little bit. I mean, we didn't have to. Fraught. Could have probably resolved it. We could have not solved it. There's no way. There's no way the scorpions. It really wasn't me. It was the scorpions that ruined our lives, and we'll never see our babies again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I gotta say. It was nobody's fault but Felicia's. It was 100% your fault, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what it was. I moved like two bushes and they just... That's what it was. It's the thing you said. I, you did it. I want to look at the replay. Because first of all, it, it was the impetus was because you said nobody can move around. So we got it nailed, and then I was like trying to move to the edges of the habitat, and then boom! Wow, everybody just, yeah, a bunch okay. of people just left because of this. But Felicia, also, I was saying no one could move around way before that. It only just finally now caught up to you. But there was no way to consolidate. We never had any two shelter or two, like we had two shelter with the leaf pile, but that's it. I, there was no, there was no making it more efficient. I. Okay, hang on. Let's take a deep breath in together. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Okay. It was your fault. It was totally your fault. Listen, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's those two scorpions. I think the scorpions were poison. They kept rotting their environment. They were always a problem from day one. The Jerboas. Also, where did you get the sh the cheat sheet for their, like that's a cheat sheet that you have, right? For the game? Where did you get that? It was just on Steam. It's like in their- The cheat sheet was just on Steam? Yeah, it's not a cheat sheet. It's, uh, it's the information that you have in game. Really? Yeah. Okay. So like, if you don't know the information, like let's say the, the, you know how some of them have like a secret thing? Yeah, but. How is it on it's got, Steam? It's got like spoiler text over it. So unless you hovered over that, it won't tell you what it is. I'm so confused though. Wait, why? It's the same information you have in the game. Uh-huh. Like when it says land, whatever. But it, it's whatever. more precise. So you're just like, oh, they need seven land versus just like land. But it's, it. The, the preciseness is easily figured out by the icons because it's like the icon shows you the percentage. So if you have, if it needs a nine by nine unit. So you were figuring out and, those numbers yourself? No, it just said them. Mm, mm -hmm. So if it's a nine by nine unit and okay. it needs, you know, 33% sand. Adam has been gatekeeping the whole time. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Listen, we could go back. It's a Steam save, all right? No. No, I don't think I'll ever load it up again. But it's a very cute game. I mean, I spent 25 hours in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I, I think, I think, I think, I, and I bought, I did get a free key. They did send me the free key randomly through my email, so. Um, let's see. Wait, you got it for free? Yeah, I got it for free. Oh. oh boy. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Adam. Are you on vacation right now? Or are you I never No. You're home now. I'm home. Okay. Mm hmm I was working. Def Amanda's like, no. No. I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. <laughs> I'm gonna do a poll. What is this collab thing? Oh, this is the thing I said yes to. Invite guests. <laughs> I don't see a poll anymore. Let's see. Here we go. You you type slash poll, don't you? Okay. No, I just look on the side. Okay. Po okay. Or what's the name of it? I uh go back. This isn't a blame poll, is it? No. 
Go back to Herba, what's the name of it? Herba Moore? Horticolor. Horticolor. Herba? What do you think it was called? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm starting the poll. I'm even going to let people vote more, okay, with points. Do 100 points. Okay, let's see. I honestly got very upset. It was so stressful. I muted and watched the news, which was less stress. <laughs> hey, cat love. <laughs> What's going on? Horticolor. Horticular? Oh, horticular. Oh, was it? Is it called horticular? Is that how I mean, it's pronounced? It could be. It could be pronounced either way. I say it's horticolor because it's like you're doing horticulture, thus making you a horticolor. But particular and horticular actually make. I was playing hey. Elden Ring and I found it more calming. Wow, that is pretty. <laughs> Not an endorsement for... Okay. Oh, my God. Why? What? What is wrong with you sickos in the chat? Wait. Yes! People want to see it again. Oh, boy. Why did you put this fucking poll up? I didn't Lisa? say I was going to pay attention to it. Although... <laughs> although... Polls I mean, are legally binding. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean... I wonder... Question, will they have ever survived? I cannot believe this. 71%? And there's hundreds of people voting. Oh, you know what? People are using their points. People are using their points. I'm literally spending all my channel points for no. <laughs> it's like lenticular Please. with horticulture. It's like lenticular with horticulture. So it's horticular. Oh, yeah. I do want to try Tavern Manager Simulator. Is that, that's just out next week, isn't it? Is it out in, um... Oh my God, I have the game for us. What? There is I want to play Coral, where's Coral Island multiplayer? That's what I want to know. I've been waiting a year Lisa, for that thing. There is a game, mm -hmm. it, it, like imagine in your head, a supermarket simulator where you manage a supermarket. Okay. But... <laughs> Me and Ryan are your employees. No. <laughs> Jeff tried it this morning. Oh, is it just getting over it? Supermarket together. All right. It's called. Supermarket together, so it's a co-op game? Dock your shop space. Unlock perks and franchises. Hire employees or chase those pesky shoplifters. The more players, the more action. <laughs> yes. So we would run a supermarket together. All right, I mean, any, I'll play any multiplayer game, but Ryan's gotta come in. Yeah, he's gotta, gotta stop being a dick. He's got so much on his social calendar. He did a knitting class the other day, and then he was gonna do pottery yesterday. I'm like- Who's he doing this for? He does it to be a well-rounded individual, and I'm, a, I'm resentful of it. No, that's bullshit. Ryan is the least rounded. He is as square as it gets. There's no fucking way. Happy 15th he's, anniversary to, it was 14th heartbreaker, 14th anniversary. Don't make me older than I am, but yes, it was. Uh, it might've been he's 15th. I didn't even look. I made a video or I had someone, I had someone make the video. Okay. I do have someone who helps me edit like two videos a month. All right. I don't know. What do you think we should do about, <laughs> I mean, what was the one that you wanted to play? It was a tug of war thing. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, that looks great too, chained together, but that's that, it. Like, we're going to lose our minds if we do that. I mean, more than we did today? I mean, if horticular or horticular mm -hmm. was stressful to us, then chained together, like, that'll be it. It's like, that's, we might as well euthanize ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so still confused about why. I would love to see y'all yes, play Chain knows. together. Felicia did play my sperm game a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, definitely very a friend. Funny. It was a it was a friend doing something for Summit. It was it was it's beautiful. It's a beautiful no, creation. It's not. It's terrible. That was the point. No no no, it's great. 
No. I'm glad you put your not. time. I'm glad you put your the hours the the few hours of your life. I'm glad you just put them in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Six, seven. So that people could understand you better. How bad yeah. games can be. Yeah. Um, I have no power ups here. Vampire Survivors was more calming. I know. So wait, there there are a couple cozy games that are coming out in September, and I didn't see the dates, but they they had a little calendar, and I really wanted to. Ooh, Gordlets. What? You'll like that. It's like a little like cutesy building game where you like build little a little city Ooh. or a little town, and these Gordlets move in. What's a Gordlet? And it's like a cute little thing. Oh. And it moves into your town, and they just, you don't have to do anything. You just build stuff, and they keep moving in. Stop it. I like it. Like you sold me. Playing the stuff. This There's is no an, objectives. It's a 10 minute poll, Jack, okay? It is neck and neck. People are just like, this is the. Oh my God, why is it 50 50? It's like one, I mean, it's literally, people are using all of their points. To vote. The, this is the most engagement I've ever seen on one of your posts. Ever, ever. <laughs> this is, people Holy feel shit. so strongly. I know, I miss Ooblets. Ooblets is a really cute game. I wish I was more in into Ooblets, because it was adorable. And the developers are lovely people. Yeah. You know what? All I want to do is play Coral Island, and it's going to be a, a letdown, because it's been a year since I've waited. Wow, we're not going to do this. Oh! <gasps> you guys this is oh my goodness we are not gonna finish this with wow we gotta redo that i'm not i'm not ending the i'm not ending the stream no wait retry the ladies seem oh, to enjoy damn. into the gardens immensely i should hope so lord well thank god i have moved to heaven and earth but not to mention a considerable amount of blunt to create blunt Uh, Wait, they're gonna, is he going to smoke a blunt? I don't know. I'm very confused about the use, use of that world. I just spent 40k on it. Jeff, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... Please. Wow. The fight. Uh oh, oh, no. It's it's like three more. It's like three more minutes. It's a 10 minute poll. A vote for no is a vote for sanity. <laughs> Sanity's worth all the points. It's nearly 4.20 in LA. I know, we should just keep it going for 20 more minutes. Oh, indeed, it's very well done. A fine legacy, if I may so so. I find it, I might as well spend it. Incidentally, might I broach the subject of your brother, the one with the reputation? Horatio? I have no title, but I have deep pockets. Could one of my daughters catch his eye? I dearly love my grandkids to be accepted amongst lords and ladies, even if I may never be up to scratch. The world has changed, Mrs. Smith, and one might hope that a title alone was not the measure of a man. I certainly raise, can certainly raise the topic with my brother if he wants to come buy one of your daughters, although I'm certain, uncertain whether he's in need of a wife. What if a bird flew by and pooped in that funnel he's got in his ear? Um, I would love that. Did he get bird poo in his ear hole? Uh-huh. I bought a pagoda, oh, and I want to buy these peonies. Free. Oh, I did it. Look. God, I am tacky. Okay. That's my garden. <laughs> Beautiful. Where are the fennec foxes? I don't want to talk about it. Our babies. Our babies. Oh, look at this. At least, at least Noah's winning. Now we're over the border in Scotland. The blacksmith need only strike his oh, wait, anvil. We shall be wed. Are you sure you want to do this, Horatio? Facing your family will be like steering into a hurricane. Oh, this is the brother, the rake. Only say you love me, Marietta. We could weather the storm together. Look at me. Can you feel it? I know you do. A blacksmith's going to marry them? This is very tacky. Will you promise to stay by my side? Always. We will have so much fun together. Let the rest of them think that what they will. I'm scared, Horatio, but I love you. Marry me. I love you too, my darling. Uh, now strike, Smith. Strike. Wait, is that they're married? They're just married now? Very weird. Okay. Welcome, Waltini. Well, I'm about to I'm about to end the stream. We had a horrible situation. Okay. Um, 
We have a horrible situation earlier in the stream. Why is it 50-50 still? Because I have bad... You guys are being bad, okay? You guys are being bad people. God damn it! You guys are being bad people, okay? Everybody vote no! I'm gonna do one more hand and then we're done. The Gretna Green Forge will take 10... It's 10... 10 of these, okay? This is just a very cool no! game. No wins with 4,446 votes no! over 4,407. Wow, Ooh. that is... Leangelis contributed 207,000 <laughs> channel points. Lee, which side were those points going to? Well spent for yes. Lee tried to get yes. Oh my God. <laughs> So basically, other than Lee, most people did not want to see more, but it was basically Lee who wanted 207,000. <laughs> 80K for no, said Cleavesville. <laughs> Albion did 80K for yes. I am so happy I allowed channel points. I don't even know what they're for, other than this. <laughs> Charmed one did no with a 120K. Holy shit. This is like the, the, I wish I could see the breakdown here. That is incredible. 40K for no. Woo! That uh, makes my day, you guys. That makes my day. Wow. Oh, damn it. I would have done 76K for whatever Adam didn't want, but I missed it. Okay. <laughs> I have unlimited channel points. 10 years, baby. It's true. I mean, I've never, I don't even know what you're supposed to do with channel points. Like, what's the point? Is it just sound uh, bite things? I just don't even understand it. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's sound bite stuff and farts. And farts. Well, you know, you guys haven't been on the farts because I uh, kind of muted them. So... All yeah, right. you, they're all muted. No, you guys can't yeah. hear them now? I can hear them. Oh. Oh, they are working now. Soylent Green is at 800,000 points. These mods are the best. The best mods. The best of mods. Um, I'm just doing this hand and then I'm going to raid someone. Adam, do some research. Who should I raid? Maybe it goes there. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do some research. <laughs> oh, I got a combo of 10. Yay. Uh, let's see. Uh... Let's see if there's some lovely people <laughs> playing Horticolor. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yes! Yes! Okay. Click on the game. No live channels. <laughs> None? <laughs> Not enough people have played this, because, like, the top people that have played is you, also you, Push and the then button. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie is your friend. Yeah, yeah, your friend. I mean, it's a fun game. I'm, I'm surprised, actually. <laughs> Everyone rage quit. Everyone rage quit it. I mean, the fun thing, okay, the fun thing about that game is that it got deeper and deeper and deeper. We never even un oh, yeah. unlocked any of the magic stuff. Like Yeah, like for a good player or a person who is competent. Yeah, you could get far. It would be even better. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, let's see. Ugh, okay. All right. So what are we what else are we going to do here? I got to I got to raid uh, someone. I know someone. I've been stuck on hold they're, for 2 plus hours. Oh my goodness. That's horrible. They're currently fighting a giant dragon in Elden Ring. That's a game we played. Who? Uh I don't actually know the proper way to pronounce the name. I think it's Siuni. Uh, but it's... I'll, I'll post it in chat so you know what uh, okay. their name is. But I, I honestly don't even remember how I came to follow this person. But I've watched them a handful of times. They're really calming. Okay. Well, everybody presence, needs that. I bet they aren't they're in this. Yeah. Fighting a giant dragon. But who knows? Okay. Great. All right. You guys, I'm, I'm going to raid. I have to go... Get my kid. Raid. 
C U. I wonder if I can. Me.tv. That's toaster poster. Okay, so no stream later this week. I will be at Fan Expo in Toronto. So if you're in Toronto, at least you could just come say, say hi. Don't have to get anything. I will have a panel, pictures, autographs, just saying hi, all good. And then I'll be back next Monday with some kind of co-op stream. Hopefully Ryan will get his button gear. We will not be going back to Horticolor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, hey, somebody else take over the mantle and I'll raid you. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Subtext. Thank Bye. you for giving away that. That was nice.